The idea of a pipeline is that every object is dealt with once. Say we have a list of 52 parts for a car, each part represented by a set of triangles. Each of these parts is sent down the graphics pipeline and is rendered to the screen. Once an object goes through this process, we're done with it for the frame. If we stopped the process halfway through and looked at the image formed, we'd see only the first 26 car parts in the image. The advantage of a pipeline is that each part of the pipeline can be worked on as a separate task at the same time. Say we take a trip to the local cardboard box factory. I won't describe what each step is because it's a box factory. That's pretty boring. All you need to know is that each step takes the same amount of time. So let's say each stage takes 10 seconds. If you want a single box, it'll take 30 seconds from start to finish to make it. However, if you want a lot of boxes, a new box will arrive at the end of the assembly line every 10 seconds. Let's see how that works. The red box gets cut. That's 10 seconds. While red box is at a folding station, the yellow box follows behind and is now being cut at the same time, each taking 10 seconds. In the next 10 seconds, the red box is taped, the yellow box is folded, and the blue box is cut. That's 30 seconds. After this point, you can see another box will come off the assembly line every 10 seconds.